Yo, yo, YouTube! The name's Chris, and I have problems with Super Meat Boy. In the last part, we finished through the light world of the forest, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully finish the forest in its entirety. So I'm going to go to the dark world and getting a middle finger straight in the face. And I'm going to start here, and as you can see right away, there are a lot more razor blades added to this level already. So it is... oops. Those are the same... Am I, am I stupid? Those... <sighs> That's what I get for trying to speedrun this. Let me get this nice and easy, and... Ooh! Okay, let's try to relax here. Take this nice and slow, get our girlfriend and get an A plus anyway. So in the last one I explained the <sighs> How am I doing so badly? In the last one I explained the game mechanics to you. Got a bandage there by the way. I explained the game mechanics to you and from this part on I am just going to try and show off some skill. Like who would have thought I do have skill? I somehow just um, decided not to show it in the past minute or so, so I'm trying to be a bit more <gasps> careful about that. Yeah, like I have skill. Can you see? Can you see all my skill? How do I get up there? Like this? That was not. That wasn't how, how you how you meant to do this. But I don't care. So uh, from now on, there are also going to add levels with these cool visual effects, which I think really add add to the beauty of this game. Because, like, this is what makes the game beautiful. It's not only a good platformer with really good mechanics, but it's it it's also a, a really graphically oops, graphically well designed game. Let me do this the intended way. It's not like this is that hard to do. I tried to take a shortcut there first time around, but no no use in doing that. Anyway, here's the level that caused me so much trouble last time, but there is no. No horrible bandage in it this time. And that was bad. There was no horrible bandage in it this time. That was just too early jump. Wait, too early jumped. So, um like for a Stark World really not that hard, even though I like I'm it looks as if it was hard, but it really isn't. It is, I do have to say, it is harder than the light world of the next level, like of the next world. This is definitely harder, and as you, you mean, I mean, it's clearly a step up in difficulty, but the game is going to get so trollish. Like, I'm going to wish for, for the forest dark world by the end of this. Also, there, like, there are steam achievements for this game. Uh, the, also, some that include beating every single world. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? Beating every single world um, without dying, and I've gotten some of those, including this one. Uh, and I, I do understand it doesn't. It really doesn't look like it at the moment. And um, I, I do understand it doesn't look like it at the moment, but I really did. And. That was real bad. Let me try something. Yeah. I don't know if this helps what I did there, but it feels a lot better, I have to say. I actually just switched to, to keyboard controls there. Let's see if this works better, but like right now I'm not too sure about it. I'm switching back to controller. Whatever. I'm gonna get used to it. And it, like it didn't look like the keyboard made a a really essential difference there. Okay, no A plus, but I did get a bandage. And like doing this without having to get the bandage actually is a lot easier. Like some of the bandages in this game are really just dicks. And that was no A plus. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta do this faster. Gotta be quick about things. Oops. 
50 plus. Thank you. 11 seconds is actually a lot, a lot of time in this game. I don't know how I, how I managed to not get it. I mean, this was this wasn't as bad as the last one. A plus, no problem here. I am in 1 112 here already. I don't have a timer running while recording, but I think I am faster about this than I have been about the Dark World. I really hope I did because I did a whole lot of introduction. Oops. I did a whole lot of introduction in the first episode, so I really did expect this to go a lot faster. Um, I should probably do this properly now. Is there a dark world? Is there a, a a warp zone up there? And I think the answer is yes. That was a plus. Okay, gonna go to. Oops. I was about to say I'm going to go to the warp zone, but I somehow failed. There is a bandage down there, a pretty dickish one actually, I believe. If I... that was bad. If I do remember cor correctly, this one is pretty, pretty hard to get. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Okay, gonna jump here, wait for this to move up a little. And... whoop! i to be quicker about this. Whoop! That was so bad. I totally should have gotten that. I, I feel cheated out of my victory. Even though I probably cheated myself out of it. Thank you. Okay, should be able to get through this without problems. Should be able to get through this without problems. Ooh. Okay, that isn't a plus, obviously. And I totally forgot to to do this again. So I'm gonna go back to this one because I missed a warp zone there. Missed a warp zone because I accidentally skipped to the next level. Gonna get here, jump through this warp zone. Thank you. Gonna get sucked in there. And uh, that looks mighty fun. Anyway, you know the concept: three lives per per level. If you fail on any level, you have to redo the entire warp zone. And I really hope I didn't miss a bandage on this one. I probably should have looked a little a little closer. But I, oops, that was dumb. I do believe the. And it's just for those are on 1-2 and 1-3. There's one. Oops. Ooh, da -da 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 -da. Nope. Oh, we might fail on our first warp zone here. Actually, on the fourth of the game. This is embarrassing. I thought I had skill at this game, but I clearly don't. Warp zone ready, get sucked in again. It's not like this one is hard. There are a lot of warp zones in this game that worry me a lot more than this one. I really need to get used to this controller though. I know it sounds as if I'm looking for for excuses, but I really do. Also, um, like when I played this game the last time, I played it on an older laptop and it actually lagged a lot and I think that also contributed to the fact that I think this game isn't as hard as people make it out to be. Just because, like, have you ever played this game with lag? It's so much easier, really, it really is. Not only because you can actually glitch through some walls, but it really is a lot easier. Anyway, I think the bandage is up here somewhere, yeah. Bandage, bandage girl, and do this. I'm sorry, Meat Boy, but bandage girl is another warp zone. Anyway, done this one, got the two bandages, gonna go back to this one. Um, as for the dark levels, there is actually one thing they unlock, like that contributes to the game. As for the light world, you need to beat 17 out of 20 light world levels in every, every world in order to get to the respective world's boss. As for Dark Worlds, it, they only unlock one thing, but I'm not going to spoil what that is, obviously, just in case you don't know the game, and this is the first time you're experiencing Super Meat Boy. 
or you are playing through the game yourself or something along those lines and I totally missed that bandage. Anyway, got the A+, do this again. Do this again, oops. Don't have to speed through it this time actually. Can't take my time on this one. And I'm really, like there are a few levels in this game. That was dumb. There are a few levels in this game which will give me a brand new experience. Some of which I couldn't even play on the last, like on my last laptop. Others which were just like stupid easy with the amount of lag I had. Like it's really scary how easy you can make these games if you just heavily slow down your computer. Or if the game itself slows down computer for that matter. Because I didn't really do it intentionally. I mean, I like hard games, I want to play hard games. It's not like like I'm making making them easier on purpose. This is one thing the game oops, the game does a lot too. Like just take levels in the dark world and lets you play harder wor like backwards versions of them, not harder versions. Because they're all harder versions obviously, but lets you play them backwards. I really like that, that's a nice touch. And as I said again, the visual effects of this are are amazing. Even though I don't know I really have no idea how how the like the programmers thought you could possibly need um, 17, 17 seconds for the previous level. Like anyway, um, I think there was a bandage here. Nope. Like this is going to get so funny actually if I ever miss a bandage, which I definitely will, because I will have to look through all the previous levels in this chapter so I can find it. I mean, this is going to be really frustrating anyway. Oops, that was dumb. I did take a lot of time on that bandage though, though. I don't really think I lost anything because I would have to I would have had to play it again anyway. And shoot. Thank you. Yeah, A plus. So this is the last one I think, and then comes the boss. And really Oh this is not that hard. I said, this is not that hard. Thank you. i do this. Really? As I said, I'm making this out to be like a lot harder than it actually is. Really? Like, I, I, I deserved to fit in there. Just because I perfectly landed on that block, I really did. I really think I did. Don't you agree? Ooh, nope. Okay, I need to crush them all. I need to break all of those. Nice and slow. See how slow I'm going? How it really affects my gameplay if I go slowly. Actually, this is this is too easy. Through this. Anyway, I did finish the Dark World. I have like only A pluses and I miss one bandage. And no, I'm missing a I'm missing an A plus actually too. So let me get in this. Please be here. How did I not get an A plus here? I guess you have to go the upper path to get the A plus. So how do I get back to the car to the map here? <sighs> Where's the bandage? I think there. I, I feel as if there was one here, but I'm like I'm not 100% sure. I obviously don't don't remember this game perfectly, but it doesn't look to me as if there was a bandage. Oh my god! Game, why are you doing this to me? There's a lot of free space here in four to in levels four to nine, so I probably am going to look through those. Just to see, this is definitely going to take longer than the first one. I, how do I miss a bandage in the first world? Okay, there wasn't one here. I didn't see one. Is it here? Nope. Bandage here. There wasn't one here, I'm pretty sure. I 
and I've been through this one, right? Didn't see any here. Don't see a bandage here either. Okay, I might have to play this one because like this is a lot of free space on the map. If I'm not finding it here, oh, no, there isn't one here. I don't think. Nope. Didn't see one. Doesn't matter if I died here. So, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm pretty sure it is in the dark world. Like I have no concerns. It is in the dark world actually. Don't. I just don't think it is in the light world. It doesn't feel as if there was. Would be. Hmm. Bandage here? Nope. Don't think there is. Nope. Hmm. There wasn't one here either. I'm not playing through this one again. This just looks like kind of my nurse. Tommy's condo. Is there a bandage here? They just named Tommy's condo, by the way, that's why I, why I said that. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, there's no bandage here. No bandage here either. Was there one on, on 16 or 20? What was 16? Alright, oh, this one. I don't think there was a bandage here. Nope. No bandage here. You usually see them pretty well on those on those levels with this visual effect. A perfect end. A perfect end sounds to me as if there was a bandage. Like a perfect end includes a band a perfect end includes a bandage to me. Oops. I don't think there was. No, I didn't see one to the right. Or is there did I miss one? Nope. No bandage. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to look into that off screen. If it isn't on 1-1 or 1-2, I might have missed either one of those. And uh, thus I have played through all the levels, almost all levels, twice. So I guess that was something worth watching, or not. Because I really can't find this goddamn bandage. Okay, so I didn't find it, I have to look for it off screen and show you in the next episode. Like, I do have two in each warp zone, right? Two in this one, there isn't one there. I can't, like, this does really concern me now. Probably I found this one. Like that was a really l large space again, like a, a sequence of levels where I didn't find a bandage in, and it always looks to me as if there there would be one in one of those big gaps, if you know what I mean. Like it just looks so so empty. Obviously not one here. Hmm. I might have even missed it, like, I, I maybe passed it and haven't seen it, and that's what worries me even more. Huh. There was one down there, I do remember. Don't think there was one in there. Hmm. Huh. Oh. And there was one in 20, in, in 120, so no need to look there. Hmm. Hum. I have no idea, I'm gonna look for it off screen. Anyway, on to the first boss. Every boss starts with a cutscene and we see the, the evil doctor fetus, like, burning down the forest here and I love this, I love this picture actually. <laughs> Might have, might have stopped the video there, but I don't see a point. Anyway, he has this big ass monstrosity 
of mach machine that he's going to, to chase us with. And if he catches up with us, we obviously are going, are going to die. But I don't really see that much problems with this first boss. There's not a timer involved to it, so there's no A plus for this one. But uh, it's actually a good thing I died right here because listen to that music. Like, this is amazing. This is an amazing track. And I, I'm kind of glad I died there just because I want to show this to you. And as I said, this stage really isn't that hard. I'm just playing really bad. Anyway, this is the finish actually, if you get up here. You just wait for him to come here, and as soon as he crashes into the wall, he, he basically defeated this boss. He didn't really defeat it, he defeated himself, but you can't really fight in Super Meat Boy, so... That's pretty much it. So we do get a little outro cutscene. I'm not gonna say anything here because this is really emotional. This is... like, this game's humor. Anyway, here are some statistics, like showing us how many levels we've beaten in Light World, Dark World, how many bandages we've gotten, and we're missing one, and that really bothers me. And uh, we do get access with that to our next world, which is the hospital, and I need to look back, I need to get one glimpse at the map again, because, like, ugh, this bandage worries me. Bandage really bothers me. Like, I think it is somewhere between here. I'm gonna look again. I'm gonna look once more. Like, this episode is already longer than I wanted it to be. So, you can see me rushing through the or kind of failing rushing through these somehow. But it's somewhere here. Like, it, it looks as. <gasps> there it is! Oot! There it is! How did I miss that? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, doing that, gliding up there. I jumped through this and didn't notice the bandage. How did I? Anyway, uh, I am totally going to pull this off again, though. Yeah. Anyway, this has been the first episode of Super Meat Boy. Uh, the second one, I'm sorry. The second episode of Super Meat Boy. We completed the dark world of the forest and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please comment, share and 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 favorite and like and all that good shit. And if you like what you saw, please make sure to tune in the next episode. And again, thank you guys for watching and see you at the next one where we enter the hospital.